needed after the webinar. I want to thank you guys for hopping on, taking time out of your day to learn about the new raw to select. Uh, without any further ado, let's jump into it. First of all, let's go over where Lutron has been. So what they've got right now, and this is the marketplace where their lines fit. Uh, on the left, we've got shades. On the right, we have their lighting. Uh, we have triathlon shades, which go up to the upper income class, you know, which is about 8 million homes throughout the area. We've got, uh, above that, we've got Savoia QS shades. Now, on the right, you notice Caseta goes from the middle class all the way through the upper middle class income. That's where they've been. And those numbers, 43 million, 34 million, 8 million, that's the amount of homes. Okay. So there's been a huge gap going from Caseta to Raw 2. And those upper middle class homes, and even some of the middle class homes, there's they land in this area that sometimes Caseta is not large enough. It's not powerful enough, but their budget doesn't allow raw two. And this has been, you know, a realization uh, over the last year after they launched Caseta that they need something to fit in. So what they've done is they have now made, they've got Caseta and then they've got raw two. But what do they do in that mid-market opportunity that they were losing income to? They created raw two select to fit into this. And that's what this webinar is about, is to talk about the new raw to select. This is a really cool new platform from Lutron. Uh, very easy to set up. Uh, sometimes it almost looks too easy. Really simple, very easy, a cool product. So without further ado, we're going to jump into this. What is raw to select? Okay, Caseta was really hard to call it a whole home light control system. Okay, because it was very limited. And raw two gets to be really, but you know, a little more cost, you know, costly. So what it is is Raw2 Select is a whole home lighting control system. And what they did is they looked at the Caseta line and they looked at the Raw2 line and they took the best of both to try and build this Raw2 Select. So what they got from Caseta, they took their simple, reliable, and affordable from the Caseta, and then they took the options, the fashion, the pro channel only option. Uh, which is great. Pro channel only for Raw 2 Select guys. You can't go and buy this at a hardware store. Um, and you're able to do larger product or projects. And to set up, setup is simple. Okay, you buy a main repeater, you pick your hardwired devices, so and your lamp module, things like that, and then you pick your Picos. So first, we know what the main repeater is. There's only one option for a main repeater. But let's get into the devices. Okay, with Raw 2 Select, they've got Maestro dimmers, fan controllers, plug-in appliance modules, lamp dimmers, dimming plug-in lamp modules, thermostats, all the accessories. So pretty much everything in Raw 2 you can do with Raw 2 Select. And the nice thing is with the Maestro series, it's been what they've learned. It's very easy, retrofittable. They've got no neutral options for those older homes. It has a shallow back cover. Okay, you don't need a very deep box to be able to install this anymore. It's finless, so you don't need to worry about the D-rating. Okay, it's got screw terminal and stab-in options in the back for wiring. And it's got the blue screw, screw for multi-location applications. Okay, so three-way, four-way, five-way, whatever you're doing, it's got that built right in. And the cool thing is it's field colorizable, meaning you don't need to go and pull out the switch or dimmer to change the colors. Okay, you can go and install these, and you can then go back and change out the colors. If you're, for some reason, you're waiting or the customer doesn't know, you can get them installed, come back once they realize what their color scheme is, or if they change their color scheme in the future. You can change them without changing out the full switch or dimmer. So what do you get on a switch or a dimmer? Okay. On the left of the switch or dimmer, there's seven LED indicators which represent the color level. Okay, it's a dimmer. Where is that dimmer at? Between zero to 100? Those indicators are going to show you. But how does it operate? Okay, a single tap on, by default, runs it to 75%. 
single tap off turns it off. Double tap on brings them all the way up to 100%. You can also press and hold for triggers or scenes. Uh, press and hold actually triggers also a longer fade to off time. And you can fine tune the light level with a raisin roller lock, rocker on the side. Okay, very simple, elegant, but also very powerful in these units. Also, there is many options for dimmers and switches. Okay, you've got uh, master neutral dimmers, master CNL dimmers, thousand watt maestro dimmers, adaptive dimmers, and dual voltage three wire dimmers. Okay, any type of the electrician throws at you, you should have a the ability to supply a switch for it or dimmer for it. Everybody now is going to LED. Okay. The problem is, as we know, not LEDs work the same. Not LEDs can be dimmed properly. Lutron has created a tool. And if you go to lutron.com slash LED tool, you can see it. You can use it. What you're going to do is you're going to select your fixture type, your manufacturer of light bulbs that are going into it. And control technology, you can select all or whatever you want to do. And then it's going to they'll tell you what switches or dimmers are going to work. Very nice, easy tool. Takes all of the hard work out of research and not knowing for sure. So we know what devices they've got, what you have available here. Let's look at the Picos. The Picos, they've got pre-configured Picos that you can order. Okay, You can also customize them. You don't have to keep them pre-configured. But they've got entry, kitchen, family room, any room, bedside. You can see all of the options here. They've got wallet box adapters to be able to drop these into a wall box or a pedestal adapter. The cool thing with the wall box adapter, you may not even have a wall box there and you just want to anchor it to the wall. You can screw this to the wall and make it look like it's a switch. Very cool piece. They also have Pico scene keypads. They come pre-engraved. The cool thing is it automatically configures itself in the app, meaning if you buy one of these pre-engraved Picos, it's going to add that button and the labeling automatically in the app. If you have two of the same Picos, it will actually, in the same room, they will mimic themselves and link themselves together. So again, set up much easier. You can then customize them later if you want. You can easily edit them afterwards. Uh, it also, the devices added after the initial installation will be automatically added, meaning any device in that room by default is going to be added to that. And then you can customize it if you want afterwards. But they're trying to do this to make it much easier and quicker for you guys. You know, the faster you get in and out of the install, the quicker you can get on the next install, which means more money in your pocket. And that's Lutron's goal, is more money in your pocket. Okay? And it gives you button-to-button -button configuration. Also, these are battery-operated. All right? But they have a 10-year battery life. They do not take much power. Um, and most people are happy for 10 years. Oh, i got to replace a battery. That's fine. They come in gloss, white, ivory, light almond, and black, but they also have satin colors now as well. So, what can you use Picos for? You can use them for lights, shades, audio. Okay, um, they talk RF to the dimmer, switches, lamps, and shades. We already said it has a battery life. Wireless three-way capabilities as well, uh, and we know the colors. These also have a visor clip capability as well for scene control maybe in your vehicle. So as you're pulling away or coming up, you can do that as well. Now let's get into the main repeater and repeaters in general. How do you set this up? How do you design a system? Honestly, it's really easy, guys. Uh, the main repeater can do up to 100 devices. Okay, so the... the raw to select system can support up to 100 devices. I'm going to say that again. The raw to select system can support up to 100 devices. Do not call me and say, hey, I've got 101 devices. 
I'm going to say take one off or go to RAW 2. Okay. It also can support up to four wireless repeaters, which means you can have a total of five hops, uh, five devices, as you can see below in the picture. The main repeater has to be hardwired to the network, okay? But the wireless repeaters, they also can connect wirelessly to your Wi-Fi, so you do not need to plug them in. And it just a, connects via RF, communicate nice and easy. Um, it only needs power, all right? So how do you know how big of a system you can do? When do I need a wireless repeater? Okay. What they do, Lutron bases it, their RF specs on real world, real world conditions, which means they're not going out into a field or a parking lot and seeing how far they can go because we all know that line of sight in an open area is going to give you a lot farther range than inside of a facility or a house, you know, whatever it is. So they deal with real world conditions they understand that they're going to be cut down by uh, fading reflections and tolerances from HVAC, from uh, kitchen appliances, whatever it is. So what they've done is this is their specs. This is what they say will guarantee to work 30 feet between repeater to any other device, meaning picos, lamp dimmers, wall switches and dimmers. You got 30 feet around your main repeater or any wireless repeater. When you're adding a second repeater or a third repeater or a fourth, uh, you can do up to 60 feet between repeaters. Okay, Each repeater can cover approximately 2,500 square feet. All right, there's a set number. You know how hard it is for people to say this is how far it is? Well, they've given you one. 2,500 square feet approximately if it's in the center of the, the building and in all directions. You got a total of 2,500 square feet. All right. Now, again, keep the more accurate is the 30 foot in all directions and then 60 between repeaters. If you keep that rule in mind, you'll be good to go. You can also add shades to Rod to select. It supports the Savoia QS and the Triathlon shades. Let's get into setup. We've talked about the hardware. All right. You don't need to go download a big uh, software onto a computer. You don't need to take all this time to learn it. All you need to do is download the, Rock, the Lutron app. And if you notice, it's the same Lutron app for Caseta and Raw 2 Select. All right, very nice. So just go download the Lutron app. And before we get into setup of the Lutron app, we're going to quickly talk about how to design a system. All right, some common questions that you're going to ask the customer to figure out what they want. All right, question. You know, the customer does not like arriving to a dark home. We all don't like arriving to a dark home. He also likes the, likes the idea of being able to turn off and ensure their lights are off when leaving. All right, we've all left and forgot lights on, guys. Why leave the lights on if you don't need them? All right, how do we fix this issue with the customer? It's simple. Replace their wall switch with the right Rocky dimmer. Okay, that's going to depend on what type of load they have. Or switch and allow control through the app, which gives you, obviously, you turn it off right from the app. It also has geofencing built in, which means when they get farther away from their house, it doesn't stay distant, you can have them turn it off automatically. Or you can set up an astronomical clock, which means if they're on a set schedule, and you want lights on or off, you can easily set it and forget it. They can all, you also, let's say we're going to add an entry Pico scene keypad right in the same wall, so that way they can control multiple loads. You know, their outside light, their inside light, their wall sconces, their lamps, whatever it is, they can control it right from a home and away button. Okay, everybody likes the app, but it does not replace a hard button right on the wall. So you got the entries figured out. Let's talk about a family room, which a lot of people are going, okay, entry is easy, family room gets to be harder. All right, well, after talking to the customer, you learn the, they entertain quite a bit in their family room, as well as enjoy a family movie night and everything else. So 
what's the best solution for them? Easy answer. Replaced, again, the loads in the house or in that room. Uh, so put in the appropriate dimmers or switches to control all of their lighting loads, their overhead lights, their wall sconces, whatever it is. All right. They also, they say they like watching a movie. So we, they've got windows in there. Let's throw on Savoy or Triathlon roller shades to be able to adjust the light. And then we're going to add, again, family room Pico. So we can then put it on a coffee table. Maybe we add the pedestal. We throw on a coffee table on a wall. So you can easily activate it right as they're sitting down. They don't have to go back up. They don't have to open up their phone. They can just hit the movie, the entertain, or the bright menu button or off um, to be able to adjust their lights and shades. Really nice and easy. So how do we set this all up? We're going to open up the app. First thing is you can put select contractor setup. You're going to put in your info. Okay, This is for the end users so they can have contact info if they have any questions if you want. Also, when you're adding setting up, you're going to first add a device. All right, this is going to pair the device with your system. It's going to walk you through it. It says press and hold button for 10 seconds. LED blinks. You're going to follow the on-screen instructions right from your app. So easy. Once you do that, it's going to jump you into what room do you want this to be added to. All right, you can. If there is rooms already added, or you can add your own. You can also choose what type of control is this, what type of load is this, okay? Is it the main ceiling light? Is it pendants? Is it uh, something else? Uh, you can then select other. And it's that easy, guys. Once you do that, you're going to land on the home screen. All right? It is a new home screen. It's going to give you a really quick and easy look. All right, there's a new room tree, so now you can jump between rooms with the raw to select. Uh, you can then add devices. You can see your devices. You can see your scenes. You can see your schedules all right from the main page as well. You're not having to jump, and it's much easier UI. Um, they really did a nice job at redoing this UI. Uh, if you notice, right on the top, it shows the two lights are on. There's a quick indicator to see if you have lights on, loads on. And if you select that, you can see which ones turn them on and off individually or turn them all off. So you're going to bed. You want to make sure if you haven't set up an astronomical clock, you know, turn the lights off in the house at a specific time, you can easily make sure the rooms are off. You can also easily edit devices. So here is a, here's that Pico that we added to the living room. All right, you can now edit the device and relabel them. You can name them. You can put in where they're located. You can also adjust what it's activating. If you notice below, it says Audio Sonos Room under Entertain. We're going to get to that in a second here. So when we also click on the main lights under Devices, you actually can change the device icon. You can change every aspect right in this. And then there's the advanced settings. If you notice, you can adjust the trim. A lot of LEDs, they're at max lighting before they hit 100, or they turn off before they hit zero. So at 15%, maybe the LED is actually off. All right, so now if you want to make that dimmer act more correctly, we can adjust and trim that light. We can also adjust the phase right there, forward phase, reverse phase, or the load. Also in the app, you've got scheduling capability. The end user has scheduling capability. You can set up geofencing. Guys, if you guys don't know what geofencing is, it's a really sweet feature where it uses the GPS in your device to be able to track where you're at and to know whether or not to activate or deactivate scenes depending on your location. Really cool feature. It also has a smart away feature. So if you enable Smart Away, your lights are going to turn on and off randomly to make it look like somebody is home. Now, this does not just work with Lutron products in the app. You also have, like you saw, Sonos integration right inside the app. 
You've got Honeywell, Logitech Harmony, obviously Lutron. You also have Alexa, Google Home, Siri integration, okay, right with the Lutron app. So very nice and easy. It also works with a lot of other brands. Nest, um, you know, Google Home Assist, Apple Home Kit, Amazon Alexa, you know, all of these. And let's say you guys have done their AV system and you have a control system in there already. It ties into security systems and control systems. If you guys are already using a key digital compass control system, a URC system, an RTI, a pro control system right for, that you've gotten from Capital, this will integrate in flawlessly with it. Very powerful, very easy to set up. Now let's look at, okay, we did one of those upper middle class, or we did the middle class and we are at that 100 device limit. Well, they want to remodel a room. They want to add another device. They want a lamp dimmer, whatever it is. And now, great, what do I got? What do I do? I've maxed on my raw to select. Well, Lutron has thought about that for you. All right, you can upgrade from raw to select to raw to, and all you need to do is switch out the main repeater from a raw to select main repeater to a raw to repeater, okay? You can key all of your devices, all your in-walls, all your Picos, keypads, wireless aux repeaters, everything works with RAW 2 as well, all right? But it gives you the ability to also add C-Touch keypads, RF modules, and other devices that are in the RAW 2 line. One thing to keep in mind, you do need to reprogram it in the RAW 2 software. You can't, at this point, merge or bring a raw to select program into raw to. So you would need to reprogram it, just keep that in mind, um, but you don't have to switch out of the hardware. Now going forward, if you guys haven't looked, heard about the Lutron Pro Residential program, uh, you guys need to. All right, if you guys haven't done, you know, played with this with Peseta, raw to select or other systems, you need to consider enrolling in this, all right? It's a really nice system, a lot of benefits for you, and what you get out of it. First of all, who's eligible? Pretty much anybody on this webinar is eligible, all right? Whether it's you guys are doing either electrical, AV, or security, all right? And you're incorporating Lutron because you're on this webinar right now or you're thinking about incorporating Lutron, which means you guys are all eligible, all right? What is Lutron Pro, though? All right, it's a program that was designed to help you guys grow your business. We all like growing our business. We all like making more money, and this is what this program does. So why enroll? Well, I just told you. Make more money, okay? So how are they going to let you make more money? So what you get when you earn or when you become a part of this is you're going to get extended warranty that's something you can offer your customers, okay, make more money, you're going to do something more than maybe the next guy because you've invested the time and you know what you're doing. All right, you're also going to get Lutron products, apparel and more, okay, from the benefits. You're going to be able to get, have more options for training. You're going to have more marketing material available for you and more support from Lutron. It also has the ability to use the Lutron Pro logo on your website mark material that somebody else can't. And only people that have been set up for this can do it. So how do you get started? In the past 12 months, if you guys have done four Caseta jobs, one raw to select or raw to job, or a Savoy QS or triathlon shade job, you guys are already pre-qualified, okay? So all you need to do is complete the application and submit proof of the job completion at Lutron Pro. So an invoice, whatever it is, just to be able to prove that you've done one of these, you're already ready to go. Just fill out the application. If not, on your next RAW 2 select job or RAW 2 job, that's all it takes. Or if you guys are doing Savoy QS Triathlon Shades, that's all it takes, guys. 
take the time, get set up. Okay, great program that does not take really any F extra effort on your part. You're already doing the job. All you got to do is fill out the application. So, a lot of you guys are part of the RAC communication. Uh, community, which means Residential Advantage Contractor Community. If you become a Lutron Pro, are you still a part of that? The answer is yes. You will still continue to receive the emails from RAC emails, the special promotions, the sampling opportunities, the tips, and all the stuff you get from RAC. You're still going to get that. You're still going to be a part. You're going to be one step above. You're going to be also a Lutron Pro dealer. So going, recapping on everything we've done, Lutron to select, what is it going to get you? It's, gonna, it's simple, easy to design, it's fast and easy to set up, and it's flexible. It's all right from the app, guys. It's really easy. So it's, you can do it from a single room or a whole home. And it's easy path upgrade, meaning you can easily upgrade from RAW 2 Select to RAW 2 with very minimal hardware costs. Uh, all it really is is switching out the repeater, main repeater, and reprogramming. So where does RAW2 Select fit in? Okay, this is the slide that Lutron gave me. I would probably change this. Okay, but what Lutron's saying is Caseta is that 43 million homes in the middle class and halfway through roughly that 34 million upper middle class homes. And then you're into RAW2 Select. I would shift that raw to select down and take out probably raw to select to all of the upper middle class and probably some of the middle income as well. You know, I mean that's that's going to shift a bit, but because of all the extra features you get with raw to select and how easy it is to upgrade, I would actually probably take more of that Caseta business and move it to raw to select than what this is showing. So guys, that's uh that's it for the webinar. I ran a little over. I tried, you know, I did go really fast. Um, do you guys have any questions? I don't see any in the questions box. I'm sure I didn't do that well of a webinar. There's got to be questions, guys. If there isn't, guys, uh, I'm going to hold on for a bit to see if any pop up. I want to thank you guys for hopping on, taking time on your busy day. Uh, Give me a call if you have any questions and or your account manager. We'd, we'd love to have you talk about any products, um, any projects you have, any, any questions in general. Uh, so a couple questions have popped up. Can I use the Savoia Shades in raw to select Yes, you can. So the next one is Sonos. Sonos integration, there is some separate trainings right on Sonos, some webinars on how to integrate Sonos into raw to select um, Don't have a lot of time to go into that now, uh, but it is a very actually easy integration. So I would recommend hopping on. We can talk more about that after the webinar as well, how to integrate specific devices. Um, but that is a whole separate training. Uh, I don't know when that's going to happen, but there are some great webinars on it as well. Uh, the next question. If they have Caseta, can they update to RAW 2? No. Okay. You do have to move to, uh, you have to start with RAW 2 Select to move to RAW 2. If you have Caseta job already, is there any type of upgrade program to go to RAW 2 Select? Right now, there isn't. Not that we know of. Um, but if you give me a call, we can probably look at something, figure it out, and, and get Lutron involved and see what we can do on that. Uh, are there kits or bundles yet? There, we're working on stuff. And actually, we've got some stuff coming out right in our new flyer that's going to be releasing here uh, next week. So I don't want to make any mentions yet, but keep an eye out for our new flyer. If you guys aren't on our email list for those flyers, I would definitely recommend hopping on the website and hit subscribe. You know, in your account, you can select subscribe to emails. And then you can actually see all of our flyers uh, coming through with all of our bundles. So that's coming next week. Uh, can we rewatch this webinar? Yes. Every webinar I do, 
that, that we put on here at Capital, whether I do it or whether a manufacturer does it, we record the webinar and it gets put on our Capital Sales YouTube channel. So I know that we cover a lot in these webinars and if you guys have a lot of stuff, there, we're living in a very fast electronic world and it's very hard to remember everything that we do. So it's great to be able to go back and watch that one snippet of a webinar or a training uh, and we know that so we post every webinar on our YouTube channel for you guys to view at any time. If you guys don't have that, uh, you can go to YouTube, you can search Capital Sales or we also have a link on our website as well to get to that. Any other questions guys? I know how this stuff works. If you guys have any questions, normally it's going to pop up throughout the day. You're going to go, crap, why didn't I ask that? Feel free to shoot myself an email, a call. Reach out to your local account manager at Capital. Uh, all of us know the raw to select software really well, the raw to select products, and the Lutron products in general. Uh, we'd be happy to help you guys with any questions uh, that you guys may have, whether it's products, projects, um, whatever it is. We'd love to chat with you guys. Okay, even if it's not about lot raw two, give us a call. We'd like to hear about your day. <laughs> or you can sit there and listen to us talk about our day, whatever works. So uh feel free to reach out however you uh however you want, whether an email or a call. We love to chat. So again guys, I don't see any questions popping up. So uh oh, one quick question here hopped in. Um is there a timeline to upgrade raw two select to raw two? No. Uh Basically, any time after you've done a raw to select system, you can go in the next month, you can go in the next year. All you got to do is take out that raw to select main repeater, replace it with a standard raw to repeater, and reprogram the system in raw to. Okay, there is no timeline to be able to do that upgrade. It can do it any time you want. So you could start with raw to select and upgrade once they, you know, grow out of that select system. Um, no, there is no, instead of reconfiguring everything, you do need to re reconfigure in from RAW 2. So there isn't a timeline to be able to select to go from one to the other. If you don't want to reprogram, you would have to start with RAW 2, at least at this time. Will Autonomics see the raw to select in their configuration pages? That I don't have the answer to, guys. Um, unfortunately, uh, I don't do a lot with Autonomic. Um, it's been a while, and I haven't done the raw to select Autonomic at all. So I can't answer that. Uh, you could probably hop on and look for it. Um, and I'm sure there's somebody out there that's done it. Uh, the next question is, is the Control 4 driver released yet for raw to select Well, I'm pretty sure it is, but we don't sell Control 4. I know it's ready for RTI, so if you're worried about that, give me a call about RTI. Um, but I believe it is for Control 4. You could reach out to them and ask. So if they can't help you, again, give me a call. We can look at something else <laughs> that will work for it. So, uh, yeah. But uh, if you guys have any other questions, I'm going to wait one second here. Well, I don't see any other questions popping up, guys. If you feel, feel free to give me a call anytime um, or shoot me an email. Again, account manager as well or Lutron. Uh, we're all happy to help out and answer any, any of your guys' questions. So, again, guys, I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy week. Uh, if I don't talk to you guys, hope you guys also have a great Thanksgiving. And if you guys don't know how to get a hold of me, you can reach out. Just call Capital Sales. Uh, and ask for ask for Chris Scanlon, ask for, hey, can I get the guy that does the webinars? Uh, no matter what, they'll be able to help you out. Um, and if you don't talk a lot to the guys at Capital Sales, just just say, hey, can I talk to somebody in sales? We're all, we are all actually uh, specialized, in, you know, we're not just salespeople. Um, we are very technical. Everybody here is technical that can help you out. Um, everybody's got their own 
uh, specific qualifications on certain aspects. So if they can't help you in one question, they will get you over to myself or somebody else that can. Uh, so feel free to reach out to Capital, ask for Chris Scanlon or uh, hey, the guy that does the webinars. You can also email me at C, as in Chris, Scanlon at CapitalSales.com. So uh, thanks guys again. Uh, if I don't hear from you guys, hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. And I hope to see you guys on the next webinar. We usually try and put one of these on every couple weeks um, on a new product or an existing product that we may have been getting a lot of pet calls on um, where, hey, this may be something else that we need to uh, refresh on. And we're also looking for your guys' input. If there's a specific product out there or a line you guys want training on or to know more on, please reach out to the account managers, the people at Capital, and we'll try and get into the schedule for webinars. So again, guys, thanks, and hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving.